you're trying to cross the border from the US to Mexico in your personally owned vehicle with US plates, then you've clicked on the right video. We're gonna walk you through how to do it real quick. Make sure you have all your identification forms handy before you get to the border. You'll need a valid driver's license and your passport. You will also need your multiple immigration form, also known as FMM. You can locate it online by Googling FMM or going to inm.gov.mx. Fill out and print the forms in duplicate. After getting your FMM stamp, you will need to purchase a temporary import permit, also known as a TIP. This should be done at the nearest Bannercito Bank to your border crossing station. You can purchase the TIP online on their official website 10 to 60 days prior to your travel in Mexico. A trip to the border Bannercito will still be necessary whether you purchase your TIP online already because you will still need to pay your deposit for the TIP, which can range from $200 to $400 depending on your vehicle. You will get the deposit back when you cancel your TIP upon your exit of Mexico. Everyone who plans on driving a foreign vehicle more than 25 kilometers into the country needs to purchase a TIP and the permit is only valid up to a maximum of 180 days. You will need the following documents to purchase your TIP. A valid driver's license, your passport, your immigration form or FMM, both the original and copies of your vehicle registration and title, and proof of your temporary Mexican auto insurance. You can find out more information concerning the TIP at mexperience.com. Mexican Auto Insurance, you can shop online to compare rates from different providers, but we use Lewis and Lewis Insurance. You can locate them online by googling Lewis and Lewis Insurance or going to MexicanAutoInsurance.com. Go to Get a Quote and fill out the information for your vehicle and trip and you will instantly be given a quote for your visit. Select and purchase a plan and then print out the forms in duplicate. Make sure you have both the original and the photocopies of all your documentation printed before you get to the border. They're gonna wanna see the originals and then keep the photocopies. We printed ours beforehand and we cut them out to size and they actually wanna see them on a full page. We ended up having to redo the copies there. They had a copy machine and a little snack shop. We paid about $4 to get both of our documents copied. Make sure you stop at the border bannercito and cancel your permit before you leave. This is the only way to get a refund on your deposit. You don't have to stop at the same one you got your permit at. Be sure to get your FMM stamped at your border crossing. Our first checkpoint was about 30 miles after we crossed the border, so if you don't have it stamped, they're gonna send you all the way back. Make sure your vehicle registration is up to date and not expired. You could face fines and penalties up to vehicle confiscation. And our final tip is to join the Facebook group On The Road In Mexico. It's where we got a lot of the information for this video. It's got everything from roadway conditions and other safety concerns to police activity, carpools, caravans. It's just a really good resource to have while you're driving to Mexico. To sum up, you're gonna need your driver's license, passport, immigration form, also known as FMM, Mexican auto insurance, your temporary import permit or TIP to cross the border and drive a foreign vehicle into Mexico more than 25 kilometers. If you have any questions, don't forget to check out those websites mentioned earlier. Most of them are user-friendly and full of information about the entire process.